what is good y'all welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing y'all how to set up text to speak oh, i can't talk set up text to speech donations for your live streams let's get it all right y'all the platform i will be using is going to be Streamlabs, and whether you're streaming through twitch or youtube the settings and setup for text to speech will look the same on both ends as long as you're using Streamlabs, you'll be all right man so sign in to whichever account you're trying to stream from and we'll go from there all right y'all when you are finished you will be brought to your main dashboard from here click on the alert box option under the essentials tab and this will bring you to the alert box page now before we get into just text to speech options in today's video if you guys want to know how to set up your alerts in general and the settings you should have for them check out my previous video where i do go in depth on how to set all of this up i will link it right above and in the description below all right below the test widgets you will see all different types of alert events that you can configure we are going to click on the donations option and scroll to text to speech now first you got to enable it right i know it's pretty obvious but we we're not gonna leave any rock unturned you know what I'm saying just in case and when you enable text to speech any viewer who donates has the option to leave a message that will be read out by some type of by ai by whatever you want to call them and it'll be read aloud on your stream with the alert all right y'all the minimum donation to read is the lowest a donation amount in terms of currency can be in order for the donation to be read out loud on your screen so essentially you will use this setting to control the number of donations that get read out loud this would come in handy you know i see it all the time and one of the main factors is going to be the size of your community but let's say you have a big community or a bigger community and you have this setting set to zero then that means every single message uh donation including a message would be read aloud on your stream so i know y'all can start to see how this can become a little chaotic real quick some streamers love this some streamers are going for that vibe if you are going for this vibe then you go you know you go forward but this setting is going to be up to you it is pretty much personal preference and what you think will work best for your community the next option here is the voice of the narrator from the drop down menu you can choose how do you say the accents and background of the narrator and it is categorized by the language i like this option i mean it's not crucial at all for text-to-speech but if you want to switch it up a bit it does add a little entertainment and personality factor to your stream now Streamlabs does offer a couple of spam protection settings in these next two options the first one is like a intensity setting in which like tts kind of analyzes the dono and determines whether to let it through or not based on its length the spam repetition block is generally for repeating phrases or characters and you can even incorporate your profanity filter in this something that i do heavily heavily recommend before you even turn on your stream you can use the slider here to adjust the repetition block and it goes all the way up to 100. this is going to be the max number of the same character in the dono before tds labels it as spam and basically just boots it out the whole message so if you have this set to four and a viewer donates with a message like a dono including five sevens you feel me so that's seven 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 you know tts is going to remove that from the message you know what i'm saying just go do away with it all right so these two options are up to you i'm well aware of the uh, tts culture here you know what i'm saying so however lenient you want to be on these restrictions is uh, entirely up to you and kind of how you want to have your community set up after this is the volume um the volume of the little bot that's gonna be reading off y'all messages which is and this is pretty self-explanatory right just experiment with this to make sure uh, everything is well heard on your stream and it sounds good the last option here includes your message template and tts just means that the voice will announce the action that the viewer just did right an example is this user just donated twenty dollars and then you know it would then go in to read the message that was left by that you know that donator most people have this setting disabled and i do recommend the setting to be disabled because it's just not necessary especially when you have the visual already showing up on your stream and that is it for text to speech if y'all are enjoying this video man and y'all are finding it helpful then leave a like so this can reach more people and help them out as well now all that's left to do is import our tts uh speech settings and to obs 
and you do that by locating the widget URL which is located at the top of the alert box page and just pasting that into OBS as a source so let's go ahead and do that okay open up OBS and go to the streaming scene you have set up for live streaming go to the sources and right click to add a web source name it donation TTS or donation alerts or whatever will be convenient for you to distinguish it and post that widget URL in that available slot the alert and its settings are now added to OBS and everything should be working properly I appreciate y'all for tuning into the video if y'all are finding this content helpful and y'all are enjoying it be sure to subscribe so y'all won't miss no more of this fine-tuned juicy information that I have coming up all right until next time I see y'all soon